Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update about what's on the bench. So I've done more work on the Bond Comet Racer and it's actually pretty close to finished at this point. I've got the wheels on it, I've got the front and rear guards on it, both levers, the fuel pump, the interior's done. Did a scratch built steering for it. And the only things left at this point are I need to do the straps on the sides of the hood, the decals, and the wheel centers. I also want to do a little weathering on it, but nothing too heavy, just a little bit of dust around the bottom of it, maybe something at the tail end of the exhaust pipe. I also got a lot more done on the Dirty Mary Crazy Larry Charger. So that's all in one piece now. The most recent additions are, I don't know if I can get in there or not, but I did add a two-way radio in the back seat. Started doing the bare metal foiling around the glass. I still need to do the sides of the doors and the sail trim. I need to add the stripes to the side of it, as well as the wheels, front and rear valances, and do a little more detail painting. The grill is not glued in yet, I'm just using that to space the front fenders apart because on this car the front fenders tend to pull together unless you've got something there and I don't want to have that happen while the thing's drying. You can see the engine's just about finished. I still need to add the upper radiator hose but when I tried to put that in I broke the one that came in the kit so I need to uh, make a scratch built one for that. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how this is coming out. I do still have some dust in it that, unfortunately, I'm going to have to live with. Uh, I polished it out as best I could. I don't know if you can see that in the paint on the hood. But there's just a few little specks in there that I'm going to have to live with. These are the decals that I'm going to be using for it. I drew these up in Illustrator and had them printed at my local Staples, which I've done a bunch of times for decals, and uh, I've been pretty happy with the results. Uh, so hopefully it'll go okay this time. If not, you can see I made a couple extras just in case. One other thing, I forgot to mention this on earlier updates of this build, was I'd made a goof and uh, had to correct myself on it. When I built my Fast 5 charger, I used Revell's 68 charger kit, and I had to replace the rear valance, so I pulled it from this kit. Unfortunately, I never replaced it, so when I got to building it, I didn't have one. So I ended up having to source this out of another 69 charger, and uh, so I'm just kind of pushing it down the line. One day I will build a 69 with the 68 rear end. That'll be the uh, Christine charger, which has the vinyl top on it. So that'll just have to swap out the interior and front and rear valances, grill, and uh, that'll work out, but just a warning to modelers, keep notes when you pull parts from kits. I didn't in this case, and fortunately I had a backup. Not always the case, though. So that's it for this week. Check back next week when I should have an update with at least one of these two completely finished. Uh, probably won't have both of them, but uh, you never know. Thanks for watching.